I love in Rav, every button you press deals damage. In retail, you have like 12 abilities that, that just use to buff one or two. Yeah, I agree. Like, should we make a list of what Frost Mages can press on retail? These are your damaging abilities. So I'm not talking about like Poly and CS, like damaging abilities on retail Frost Mage and PvP. This is too many, just way, 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 way too many abilities. Like if you want to keep some, like keep Fire Blast, keep Kona Cold, keep Frost Bomb, keep Blizzard, keep Flurry, keep Ice Lands. You could get rid of Comet Storm, get rid of Ice Nova, get rid of Glacial, get rid of Ray of Frost, get rid of Ring of Fire, get rid of Ebon Bolt. Like get, get rid of so many things. In my opinion, the ones I marked are the ones you should keep. But like, I think I think the ones here are, are good. If you want to get rid of more, I guess you could get rid of like maybe Frozen Orb. If you want to get rid of Frost Bomb. But like, I think having Ebon Bolt is just fluff for the spec, man. Ring of Fire is fluff. Ray of Frost, fluff. Glacial's fluff. Ice Nova, fluff. Like, all of this stuff is just, like, not... It's just too many options, man. Way, 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 way too many options. It's like, you want to you wanna burst someone? It's like, do I Frost Bomb, Kona Cold, Fire Blast? Like, Flurry, I like, Frost Bolt, Comp, R R Ebon Bolt? Like, no, dude. You gotta, you gotta remove. You gotta declutter. That's the problem with retail right now. You just gotta declutter it. Here, I'll, I'll just type it out real quick because we might as well just have this on a notepad. Solution, question mark. I think fire, you get DB, Dragon's Breath, only. Not all three specs, just fire gets Dragon's Breath. Frost, deep freeze, okay? Only, fire doesn't get deep, just frost, okay? And arcane gets improved Counterspell. So for the four second silence. Only, only Arcane gets that. So each spec has one type of CC. That's not overkill. If you compare that to any other class um, in the game, that's pretty normal. Like, you know, you have one way to one way to control, one way to get CC, you know? So one for fire, one for frost, one for arcane. And then to be honest, I think arcane, um, fire design is actually pretty decent right now i think fire is a pretty decently designed spec so i wouldn't change it too much like fire with with how fire blast works scorch works fireball works pyros combust it works like i would i would just just you don't have to do too much to fire if you want to give it a little 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 flavor if you want to give it like blazing speed sure you know so maybe like fire, like you can think about giving it like something like blazing speed, but like it, you don't have to do too much. And then frost, this is where you need some work. And that's where we go up to here, where we talk about what, what should you do? You, I think the, the key to frost is you remove Comet Storm, you remove Ice Nova, you remove Glacial Spike, you remove Ray of Frost, you remove Ring of Fire, you remove Ebon Bolt. You, you give it its basis abilities back, like Frost Bomb, Fire Blast, Ice Lance, Orb. And you make these abilities pump hard, right? And Deep Freeze. That's... That's frost. Boom. That's fun, right? So you you remove a ton of the the bloated abilities for for the spec. It it's it's weighed down with a bunch of abilities to do nothing. You got to remove them and then you got to put in deep freeze, okay? And then for arcane, honestly, I don't think arcane's in a bad spot. Um, the way I've played it on the on the alpha for dragonflight or the dragonflight beta now, I actually don't mind arcane. I don't think arcane's terrible. I think the improved CS change would help. I actually think arcane's kind of fun. My feedback for Arcane is that you should not have Dragon's Breath for Arcane. It doesn't feel right. Oh, another ability that that mages have is Meteor. Retail Frost mages have Meteor. This should also go, in my opinion. How do you fix Arcane? You remove Dragon's Breath, remove Meteor, remove Ring of Fire, remove all this crap, and you just give it what like Arcane Missiles, Blast, Barrage. You know, Fire Blast is fine. I think Fire Blast is fun, you know, for all three specs. That's fine. Um, and you give it MCS, and you take away Dragon's Breath. So, remove, um, you know, some of the abilities, and, and give it MCS. And give MCS. And then, and give Deep Freeze. And if you really want, and if you just think mages are way too OP, and, and they can't go like this, then remove Alter Time. If you just want to remove Alter Time from the game. If you want to, if you want to add in more CC, like Dragon's Breath, Deep Freeze, and MCS, which isn't that much, you could remove Alter. If you really think it's too way too crazy, just remove Alter. It, Alter is kind of OP. Sure. Boom. Done. Done. We fixed Mage. Like, that's what I, I've been trying to, like, I've said this th hundreds, thousands of times. Like, at this point, I, I feel frustrated, exhausted, and tired. 
Like this is this is how you fix it for PvP. It's it's not crazy. It's a combination of of wrath, kata, and mop. You do this. This is like the problem. There's way too many abilities. Way too many abilities. You can move half of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen damaging abilities. I think you could have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could cut that in half. Half of mages' build abilities are gone. And you give true power to the other half. Make them hit hard. Make them feel meaningful when you press them. Get rid of all the bloated stuff. You can't just add more, more, more. You gotta take away and, and give meaning to the abilities that you actually do press. That's how you fix it. That's how you fix Frost. And like I said, fire's in a decent spot. If you do that to Frost, Frost will be in a de decent spot. And Arcane, I think, is actually looking pretty fun. It just needs MCS. If you want to nerf mages, remove Alter Time, and you remove a bunch of these gloated abilities. Boom! Boom! We're missing Blast Wave and Arcane Explosion from this list, from Mage. For just damaging abilities. This is what's inherently flawed about Frost Mage, guys. Name one other spec that has this many options for, I want to hurt someone else, I want to deal damage. What ability should I use? Hmm. Should I Frostbolt, Comet Storm, Ice Gnome, Glacial Spike, Ray of Frost, Ring of Fire, Frozen Orb, Ebon Bolt, Ice Lance, Flurry, Blizzard, Frost Bomb, Clone Cold, Fire Blast, Meteor, Blast Wave, Rock and Explosion. Come on, man! You talk about an ability purge. There's so many things that no one would cry about if it was gone. Ring of Fire and you remove it, no one would care. Ray of Frost and you remove it, no one would care. Ice Nova gone, no one would care. You know? Meteor gone for Frost. Sure, fine. Blast Wave gone, sure. Like... So many abilities you gotta get rid of, man. That's I, I I didn't even realize. Am I missing? I might be missing more, by the way. This might not even be a full list yet. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So out of curiosity, like, what do mages actually have in Wrath? Com so compared to Wrath design, that's ten abilities, and that's a lot, really. That's Wrath. That's before they remove. Like, that's that's kind of a lot. I guess it's not really Fireball, it's like Frost Firebolt. Frost Fire Bolt. Because it kind of replaces it. So that's that's like high end. Like Wrath is high end 10. Like that's 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 maybe more than they should have, but it it, it feels pretty good, but it's a, that's kind of a lot. Dragonflight, Frost Mage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I propose they put it down to 1, 2, 3. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine. I think nine abilities is what you should be able to do damage with as a Frost Mage. Nine. I think it, they should take it from 17 abilities down to nine for Frost. Just for damaging abilities. That doesn't include CC, mobility, utility, anything like that. Just damaging. And Wrath had how many again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wrath had ten. But you don't use Arcane Blast. Yeah, I literally don't even have a keybind for Arcane Blast. So you really only use 9 in Wrath. 9. Nine. 9's gotta be the magic number for damaging abilities. 9's gotta be the magic number. That's what feels good. 9 is the magic number, dude. You want 9 damaging abilities for a good class design. It gives you a lot of use cases specifically. Like missiles you just use if someone's running on a pillar. Frost Firebolt and you'll just use for the dot. Scorch you use just if you're kicked. Arcane Explosion just for... Um, AoE burst, or if you want to AoE someone out of stealth, fire blast for totem stomping, like, there's a specific use case for each one, right? This is nine. Nine abilities. I think, I think Dragonflight, it has 17 right now, I think it should go down to nine. They need to remove eight. Remove eight of them, in my opinion. Yeah. What, so... If you compare this to, compared to Fire Mage Retail Design. Fire Mage Retail right now, you deal damage with Fire Blast, Fire Ball, Living Bomb. Once again, you also never press that, but I guess it still counts. Ring of Fire, no one really spec, oh, well, I don't, actually a lot of people do spec it. I don't spec it, but that, that counts, it's a, it's a talent. I think that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Huh. I guess Meteor, but no one plays that either. Scorch. The thing is, Meteor and Flame Strike, or Meteor, Living Bomb, Ring of Fire, and G-Pie, all don't really, like, you don't play G-Pie, you don't play Ring of Fire, you don't press Living Bomb, and you don't play Meteor. So it's really one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
But say you did play, you know, you play Living Bomb, that's eight. If you play during a fire, that's nine. So it's like anywhere from like seven to nine, right? I think there's this this thing that I'm that I'm realizing about class design that's fun. Because in my opinion, retail fire is fun, and it has seven to nine abilities that you do damage with. Frost and Wrath, I think, is also fun, and you have nine abilities you do damage with. I'm starting to think. There's this like. What about Mop? Like Mop, Frost, Frost Bomb, Living Bomb, and Nether Tempest were all like one, right? You can only have one, I think, or something. Actually, yeah, I think that's how it worked. You don't have to have Ray of Frost and Glacial in retail, so this isn't a fair comparison. That's a decent point, but it's still 17. So it, like what your point is saying is like, you're not gonna have all of these. I still think it's, it's still way too many, right? It's still way too many options. Like, you should maybe have, like, 13 options and then actually pick 9. Not 17 options and actually pick 14. Does that make sense? Like, you, you bring up a good point, but at the end of the day, there, there's still way too many options, and you still pick way too many. So anyway, Mop Frost. What else did Mop Frost have for damage? There's gotta be more than this. Kona Cold. Okay, that might be it. Let's see how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I'm telling you guys, there's something with this magic number 9. It feels the best mage designs ever. Everyone always says Mop Frost. A lot of people say Fire Retail. And a lot of people say Frost and Wrath. It's, it's this 9 ability mark, man. It feels good. It feels fun. It feels like I can use abilities in rare circumstances, but I don't have too many. I think one of the biggest problems with Frost, and, and you guys are right, like you don't you don't play all 17, but you would play Blast Wave. Like let's see how many you actually would play. You would play Blast Wave. You maybe play Meteor. Maybe you just forgo Ebon Bolt. You maybe maybe play Ring of Fire. Maybe you don't play Ring of Frost, Ray of Frost, or Glacial. But maybe you do play Ice Nova. Maybe you don't play Comet Storm. That's still one, two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Still, like, you could get rid of 4. Even That's even if you don't pick Comet, Glacial, Ray, or Ebon Bolt. That's if you don't pick those 4. You could still get rid of 4 more even if you don't pick those 4. Does that make sense for the people in the chat? Because I think that's a legitimate uh, concern. Like, you're like, well, that's not really a fair comparison. What's wrong with having abilities that you rarely press? Nothing. Nothing at all. That's how it was in Wrath with nine abilities. You have abilities that you rarely press. You know, you rarely press Scorch as Frost. You rarely press maybe Fire Blast or you rarely press Blizzard or you rarely press Arcane Missiles. But they're still there. You see? There's nothing wrong with having abilities you rarely press. But my thesis here that I've just kind of discovered is that it might be this this nine ability mark. It's not really surpassed like seven to nine abilities to make a really fun class in terms of damaging abilities. It's a fun amount of abilities to, to mess around with, to have really unique use cases for, but not have too much bloat for the class. That's why fire feels so fun. And that's why dragonflight feels bloated. Needs It needs a... You need to remove a lot of the abilities. And then add in deep freeze. Boom.